Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you'll be able to see, I'm in my bathroom and I thought that I'd do this video slightly differently. I'm gonna take you through kind of more step by step what my favorites are this month. And so many of you have been asking about a glowy kind of sun-kissed look, what I'm doing with my makeup at the moment. And to be honest, I'm just like the thought of sitting down and doing a makeup tutorial absolutely terrifies me. So I thought that I'd just do it super relaxed and talk you through some of my favorites. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing all my other favorites like books and kind of bags and clothing and that kind of thing. So starting off, I've just got out of the shower. I've let my hair kind of like air dry. I love to do that in the summer as much as I can. It's so hot at the moment that it dries pretty quickly and my hair usually takes a long time, but I'll go back into hair in a second. But I'm gonna start off with a face mask that I have been loving. And it's the Aesop Parsley Seed Cleansing Mask. And I find this one great in the summer months because I use products that I hope don't break me out. I have quite sensitive skin and it does break out very easily. I was acne prone as a teen and I still am. I, I might go into that in another video if you would like me to, but I find over the summer months, there's something about wearing sun cream and probably a little bit disgustingly sweating as well, that I get a lot of little, especially like kind of on my forehead up here, a lot of little tiny, like not really spot spots. And this mask is amazing for kind of reducing, reducing any spots or acne. It's really calming on the skin so delicate honestly one of the most delicate relaxing masks that i've ever used and it's really nourishing on the skin it just it dries in it's quite a thin mask i'd say but you can put it on as much as you want kind of slap it on if you want to i tend not to i don't feel like i need too much and i just need it kind of in my t-zone down on my chin where i break out a lot and along with my nose so whilst I pop that one on, I will talk you through with some of my other bits. I don't know what that mask just looked like, but anyway, back to in the shower. So shampoo and conditioner, summer months. As you guys probably know, I've just had my hair balayaged and it's probably one of the first times that I've had it colored. My hair has a lot of auburn tones in it. It's quite red. My dad was ginger when he was younger and my mom has loads of auburn in her hair. I love it because in the sun, it goes all different colors, but I was terrified when I dyed it a bit lighter because I thought it would go quite red, too red. So just in case, I picked up these John Frieda Sheer Bond Color Renew Shampoo and Conditioner, which are tone correcting, and they have been amazing. They are quite drying. They think they say to use them like two or three times a week, but I haven't even been using them that much, probably one to two times a week just to make sure that the color is keeping it really nice. If you've never used them before, they are actually, I should be able to see from this one, they are actually kind of like that blue purple color. I've, I never had to worry about them because I didn't have blonde hair, but these have been amazing. If you do have blonde hair, you want to keep it not from going funny colors in the summer, then I definitely recommend these. As far as cleansing in the shower and that kind of stuff, it's still pretty boring. It's just my Emma Hardy cleansing bar that I use in the morning before I pop in the shower. And that's all kind of, I've talked about that in one of my previous videos, but tan. So tanning is something I tan very easy myself naturally. To be honest, it's something that I don't overly like because I get very tanned, just tan too easily. But I do self tan because I try and keep out the sun as much as possible. So first of all, body tan. My two favorite brands, saint I've talked about that instant tan before. I still use that one all of the time when I'm in a hurry. But if I have a bit more time and I organize, this has been my absolute favorite. I worked with saint recently and their self-tan purity water. This one is so nice. It's like a bronzing mousse and it smells, it smells insane. It's got the most beautiful smell and it gives you the lovely color. Actually, both these brands do. This is my other favorite, the Vita Libra two to three weeks tanning mousse. I wouldn't say it's two to three weeks, if I'm honest. They do say that you have to build it up. I don't think it quite lasts that long, but it does last a long time. Both beautiful color, both easy to use. To be honest, there isn't an awful lot between them. I love them both, and I just kind of alternate between them. This one's slightly darker, and so I use that. Haven't been using it so much recently because I already have a bit of a natural tan. I've been going for this one, so that's kind of how I use them. 
Okay, so mask off and carrying on from the tan. I have recently, oh, where is it? It's in its box. I have recently been loving the Tan Lux face drops. These are amazing. I couldn't tan my face at all. That's why I always look so pale in the summer because I felt like if I couldn't tan my face and I couldn't tan the rest of my body. And it's because normal tans break me out. So any body tan I find is just too clumpy, just doesn't suit my skin at all. But this stuff, haven't broken out, dries in really nicely. It is so beautiful. So I'm just gonna pop one drop on right now because I don't really need much of a tan. And I'm gonna put it with, which I've talked about before, my Natural Spa Factory. And this is the Apricot Oil. And I usually use, normally, when I don't have a tan, so before I was in Devon, I was using about two to three drops of the tan with probably about four or five of the oil. <laughs> I do like kind of smothering myself in oil, so you probably don't need to use that much. I just mix it in in my hand and then pop it onto my face. You can do this kind of morning or evening and that's why I love it. I love that it slips into your normal routine and you don't have to worry too much about it kind of, the makeup, putting your makeup on or how you're gonna fit it in in the evening because I find after a long day, I just wanna come home and totally chill out. I don't usually do too much beauty stuff unless I'm really in the mood to do a full beauty routine, so. Great if you're lazy like I am. Right, next, because we're in the summer months, I always put Factor 50 on my face, and for years I've been using this La Roche-Posay Factor 50. This one is actually for the face, I believe. It doesn't say on it, but it's just for the face. And I wouldn't use any other. Again, sun cream is something that breaks me out. I hate feeling like I have something oily on my face. It just is especially when you have acne prone skin, it is the worst feeling when you feel like you're just smothering, smothering your face in oil. So I put this on every morning. Honestly, it is so matte, it dries in perfectly. I'm putting it in over the oils, which I think it's sitting quite nicely and with putting makeup on, not that big problem, I'll show you that later in my skincare routine, but I pop it all over and I couldn't be without it, honestly. If you want a Factor 50 sun cream, I'd highly re recommend this, and I've tried quite a few. They all break me out, but this one. Okay, so I think with the sun cream done, we're pretty much done in here, so I think I'll finish off my hair, put some clothes on, and see you in the bedroom. Okay, so we're in my room. I just put some metal lawn curls through my hair, so sorry if they're looking a bit kind of too ringletty at the moment. I'm just gonna let those drop out whilst I show you guys what I do for my makeup routine. <clears throat> now, my makeup routine, as I always say, is so simple, so easy. These are the things that I've been loving at the moment. So, starting off, my favorite, the Is It Cosmetic CC Cream. Love this stuff. I kind of rotate that one and the Bare, min Bare Minerals, which I've talked about quite a few times throughout the year, but the Bare Minerals I try and use, I'm gonna show you my tummy in a second. Bare Minerals I use when I'm not particularly doing anything, perhaps I'm just having a day at home or kind of running errands and I don't wanna put much makeup on, specifically on holiday. And then this one gives a little bit more coverage, the It Cosmetic CC Cream, so I tend to use that for days like today when I have meetings or perhaps on holiday in the evening when I want to cover up put a little bit more makeup on. I think that it gives the most amazing coverage for a CC cream whilst still feeling really light. I just absolutely love how it glides onto the skin. And I put this on with my fingers and then I go over it, which I'll show you in a second with my um, Real Techniques sponge. And then I just make sure that it's all perfectly kind of in place and also down on my neck and chin area with the Real Techniques sponge. I love this one. I tend to find that I have to have it a little bit damp. And the one thing that I hate about them is how often I have to clean it. It's like in my daily routine. This color probably, I have the It Cosmetic in light, which I think at the moment might be just a tad too light for me, especially at the top of my forehead. 
but to be honest, as I said, I don't really like to have my face, so I hate getting darker colours just for the summer months, but has to be done. Then I pop on the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've got this one in Custard, which I think at the moment is probably a little bit too slightly yellow for me. I put it on the other day and I thought, oh, that's quite yellow. And I put that over any blemishes. To be honest, with blemishes, I like to try and leave them. I know it's nicer to cover them, but I try and leave them as much as possible and just do my under eyes and the ones which have kind of come and gone or scarring with the concealer. This one really sinks in beautifully, especially with the it cosmetic. It just blends lovely. I think this one is just about the right colour for me. I love this concealer. I love it because I can use it all over my face for my blemishes and under my eyes. I don't like having anything too light under my eyes. I always think that that's a little bit of a mistake. So I try and keep whatever I put under my eyes also all over my face. And I feel like it makes it look a lot more even instead of looking, I don't know, too made up. Definitely go on the natural kind of side of things. Right. Now then, probably one of the favourite things that I have been loving, loving at the moment, I don't even know what it's called, NARS Liquid Bronzer Lugana, I'm not sure if that's part of it, if that's the colour or not, love it. It is the best bronzer I have ever used, really different, super liquidy, I don't put this on my hands because it will be a nightmare, I just use kind of like a foundation brush, you really don't need a lot of this, if you see it's totally liquidy. Two pumps may even be too much for me right now, but I just pop a few of the dots onto my cheeks and I usually would put it on my forehead, but to be honest, I'm just going to put it on my lower forehead because I don't need it right now. And it creates, it looks a bit scary at first. I've never been into the whole contouring thing and I think this is probably as far as I would go with it. Looks kind of insane right now but it honestly it just creates the most beautiful beautiful colour and kind of like that skin kissed look but without making you cakey I love how it blends in it's beautiful it, it's that feeling you know when you're on holiday and you've had like a few days there and you're kind of coming to the end of the holiday and you're just feeling so beautiful and sun kissed this gives you that it gives you like a lovely glow Love it, love it. I've been, I only picked that one up last month and I've been using it so much. I mean, just look at that colour that it gives. I don't know if that's coming off as nice as it looks on camera, but it really is stunning colour. And just looks so natural and dewy, so that is the, where most of the glow has been coming from. I mentioned this one before, so just really quickly go in with the Glossier Boy Brow. Don't do a lot to them, just let them grow naturally and literally just flick it through strokes and then I'm done. Talked about this one as well, it's the NARS Smudge Proof, I um, don't know what they actually call it, eyeshadow base. I tend to use this a bit more in the summer months because obviously you're sweating that much more and it's never good for the eyeshadow base. Not that I, if I'm on holiday or by the beach or in the West Country, I don't often put on eyeshadow, but in the city I do so I'll show you that today. Again you guys know that I love this one, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta, I think that's what it's called. I just dot a little bit of this on and again so glowy, so beautiful. I think it's a lot to do with the colour, don't know if I'm putting too much on that but it's really hard looking through the camera. And I just put it on the top of my cheekbones, usually a little bit above my lip there, and sometimes a little bit on my nose, but that very much depends on the day. I'm like, do I feel like that or not? <laughs> Hopefully you can just see how that one has kind of gone on slightly now, but you might be able to see I'm looking a little bit shiny, especially on this forehead of mine. So Bare Minerals, Bare Skin, Perfecting Veil is what I always go for. Again, I just like the idea that this is being really delicate and nice on my skin, letting it breathe. I think that this one's a little bit too pale for me at the moment. Such a shame because it's my favourite and I've only just recently bought this one. But that's the trouble with going on holiday straight after you buy makeup. Anyway, I just pat it all over, especially in my kind of like T-zone area where... I definitely get the shine on. I love being a little bit shiny, so I don't mind too much, but I take this on the tube, especially if I'm out about in London all day. 
Again, quite quickly, because I talk about this one all the time, Daniel Sandler, liquid blush. Love it for a skin kissed look. Anything liquid, as you can probably tell at the moment, is what I go for. Gives the most beautiful colour, just makes you look really fresh and healthy and alive. Love that about it. And it's really that gorgeous, kind of like coming off the beach, feeling great look. So I'm just going to go super quickly through with this one. I probably will just talk you through it rather than showing you me putting it on. I always use the Naked Heat palette in the summer. Love the colours. As you can see, probably my favourite is the um, Chaser here. I use that as a base coat nearly every single day, but I'm going to go for a few warmer tones today. I think I might go for Scorched because I think that's one of my favourites to add in with that one for it goes with the top quite nicely, that kind of warm summer vibe. So that is what Chaser just looks like on its own, so really quite natural. I'm going to go a little bit darker today just to show you guys. Actually, I decided against the Scorched and I went for, not sure how you say it, but the Lumbre and the He Devil because I just thought that it went really beautifully with this top and the kind of like summery, sun-kissed look. I don't do anything special with them, literally just kind of glide them over as easy as possible and then I sometimes just put a little bit of the ounce just in the corner of my eye there to make me look a little bit more awake and kind of fresh and healthy. Eyes are kind of boring, so I just got straight on into it. I hope that you guys don't mind. I am using right now the Bobbi Brown Dark Chocolate Just Longwear Eyeliner. Really simple, kind of boring, but my absolute favourite for this one is also using this Bobbi Brown. Well, I'm not sure what this one is. It's called the Jewel Ended Eyeliner. That's what it's called. And I love this because it just makes it look a little bit more smoky, a little bit more like you haven't cared and done it perfectly. And after I've done the top lash, I just run it slightly under my eye to give the little bit of a smoky look. Again, mascara kind of boring, same old long con hypnose. So I'll just put this on and show you what it looks like. I thought I'd just quickly show you the kind of like before and after. So this one has the mascara on and this one it doesn't yet camera keeps sliding but that is the mascara now evened out on both the eyes I'm afraid I've talked about this one before as well it's the MAC lip pencil in spice I use this one I think I showed you with it on on maybe my April favorites but it looked really dark so I'm just gonna show you guys again what it looks like without I think I'm gonna just cut to me ah! Just throwing it everywhere with it on because talking while you're doing your lips is just not easy <laughs> and there we go so i just put it on really lightly and then kind of smudge my lips together so that the lip liner goes all over the lip and today i think i'm going to use the stone rose which has been my favorite recently from charlotte tilbury it's really lovely again in just like a nudey kind of color then lastly, my all-time favourite, the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. I have this all over the summer. My lips get really dry in the sun and also I just think it gives the most gorgeous kind of really juicy lip kind of look. Does get caught in your hair though if it's a bit windy. <laughs> hey, so that is everything. I will try and show you the look in a little bit more light because I've got a mirror behind me there so let me see if I can take that down and show you. Okay so without getting too up close and personal this is the look which I go for every day what I've been loving in the summer with my eyes just kind of really smoky gorgeous warm colours as well as my lip. Um, a little bit bronzed which you probably can't see too much here and then like a bit of highlighter just super glowy super natural and also easy I do this routine in the morning pretty much with all of those products and it only takes about like 10 10 minutes at most so quite quick and easy I hope that you guys are bearing with me here but I'm on to like non beauty and makeup favorites now I'll start with this top because you guys always ask what I'm wearing and I've been loving this one I put it in my recent haul which I will link below and it's just so soft I absolutely adore the color it was from Topshop and I've been loving it next up clothes wise this black little it's just a black little shift dress kind of mini but wait for it just look at that it's got the most gorgeous bow I think this is the most sophisticated lovely colors I love the cream and the navy and then this brown and the like mustard orange 
Fell is so in love with it. They have loads of prints and I'm going to be doing a haul maybe in next week's video with some mango stuff. This one was from mango and oh, I picked up nearly everything that they had with this print on. It's just so chic and lovely. I've been wearing this one quite a lot. Okay, and then next, I think that you guys will have seen this one also. It's from And Other Stories and I have been loving it. So no doubt you've seen it on my Instagram or somewhere already because honestly, it just goes with absolutely everything. I love the linen. I love that it's kind of like cropped so you can wear it Ooh, with so many things. Hopefully it's not blowing out too much because I'm in front of my window, but really beautiful, basic everyday top. And then last, this one actually still has grass on it, which is a bit thing. But I wore it to the beach again. And you guys will have seen this on my Instagram. I will pop my Instagram below. And it is so gorgeous. I haven't had a skirt like this in such a long time. But it's like a knitted bodycon midi skirt. And it has this slit. As you'll be able to see all this grass down the bottom. Um, yeah, that's kind of disgusting. I should have cleaned this before I showed you guys, but you know, it was ready to go in the wash and I wanted to show you. This will also be in an upcoming haul. So if you wanna see any of these items on, I always put them in my hauls. So subscribe below so that you don't miss my hauls, but it's got a gorgeous slip and I love the little frills at the bottom. So pretty, love that one. And then next, what should we go on to next? Sunnies, so many of you asked from my vlog which was my last video on instagram where these sunnies were from and they're from a brand called I believe it's jimmy fairly and i have been loving them wear them non-stop and mostly because they look like an instagram filter my kind of favorite instagram filter where it's like, like peachy and tealy kind of colors got a lovely tint to them i don't know what they've done but it's really nice and they're nice sunglasses anyway they have some amazing sunglasses honestly just a really lovely range they were really kind with these they actually let me go into store and pick up a pair gifted so so nice of them love them now next is a book and this is a book that my mum sent me and it's whatever you think think the opposite by paul arden and i have loved this actually ollie and i have been reading this because it's it's basically a lot of small little like how would you put them kind of most motivational makes you think about things little pages so every page is different and we've been reading one or ten or five each evening to each other and it is such a lovely thing to do and it really makes you think about things let me see if there's one if i go from the back and see if there's one i can read to you um so this one really short simply change your life the world is what you think of it, so think of it differently and your life will change. And there's just so many, I mean, that, that's kind of quite a short one, but most of them are much longer and really make you think about things and what you want in life and just love it. Really enjoyed it. It's just a really feel good one without getting too deep or feeling like you can't put the book down. That's one thing that I hate with books in the evening is that you feel like you can't put them down and you're reading, reading. But with this one, it's just nice to read a few kind of like chat chat to your friend about them or your mum. My mum my actually read this one and then sent it to me. So chat to her about it. And yeah, he also has a book called It's Not How Good You Are, It's How Good You Want To Be. And I'm gonna be getting that one next because this one was just so great to read. Pretty much that has been everything that I have been loving this month. Let me think, oh, TV programs. I cannot believe that I didn't know about Queer Eye. Literally, I think. Is it season two that just came out? When everybody was talking about season two and how they've been watching it, binge watching it, I was like, oh, I must try this, what is it? And I was hooked again. So feel good, I love like the warmth in it and just how it feels so like kind of charitable and they're doing good and making people confident and giving them a new life. And I just loved it, it was just, if you haven't watched it, you have to watch it because it's hard to explain, but I think you're slipping on that, sorry if you are. But yeah, just the best feel good program. And I think Ollie and I ended up watching it probably within a week or so, series one and series two. So we went through quite a lot. If you haven't watched it, you have to watch it. And that has pretty much been everything I've been loving this month. I've had such a good month with the heat wave that we're having here in the UK. It's felt so summery and I've got some exciting news coming up soon. So make sure that you subscribe below. I'd love to see some of you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all soon. Bye.